Today we're fortunate enough to have a shiny new Apple iPad here in the offices. Here it is, brand new, we're fans, and we're going to run Windows XP and Windows 7 full screen on it using CloudShare. So here we go, we're going to log in using the Safari browser. And as you can see, here we are at the CloudShare Pro uh, homepage. I've built three machines and I've exposed the details for my Windows XP machine out there in the cloud. I'm going to snag that uh, set of addresses, the external address, and unfortunately in a Mac we do have to use a separate RDP client uh, on the iPad. So I'm going to click that RDP client and log into the internet and there goes my cloud machines booting and here I am in the desktop on my Windows XP machine running Office 2010. There you go, there's the start menu, Windows XP Pro, and uh, I'm going to click on the Microsoft Word document that I opened earlier in the cloud just a blank 2010 Word document, and I'll attempt to use uh, Apple's keypad here. I'm not an expert, but uh, say hi there. This is harder than it looks to type sideways, but again, you can see it's reasonably responsive even going through uh, wireless to the cloud. Pretty usable uh, XP desktop experience. So let me tap and close that uh, Office 2010, and uh, let's go and check out my computer as you can see, I've got a hard drive in the cloud. I can install additional things on that hard drive on my XP machine in the cloud. Uh, but let's go ahead and get out and try Windows 7 as well, because of course I have a couple of machines available to me. So here we go back to Safari, back to my cloud-based homepage for CloudShare. I'm gonna scroll down and check out my Windows 7 info. If this was a PC, I could just press the go button and log in, but again, we need the information separately on an iPad uh, for the RDP client. Let's grab that IP addressing and pop ourselves back into that RDP client with the information preloaded, and there we have Windows 7 popping up again. Uh, the real deal, full screen, it's a functioning desktop on, uh, on an Apple iPad uh, in the cloud, and uh, we can demonstrate here is the start menu. See, it's uh, Windows 7 Live. This is not flash animation or mock-up. It's the real thing coming off the internet. Uh, just a virtual desktop for you. And of course, uh, this is all available for free at cloudshare.com. So let's go ahead back and uh, demonstrate on the homepage just to make the point. I had three machines built, but we can also add other types of machines, not just Windows XP or Windows 7, uh, but there's actually a whole suite of available Windows machines and Linux machines preloaded with various applications. So go ahead and uh, head over to cloudshare.com slash pro, build yourself some Ubuntu or uh, other machines, and you can access those in the cloud right off your iPad at cloudshare.com. Thanks for listening.